All right, how many of you love fresh pineapple? I know I do, it is so sweet and juicy and delicious, but there is one thing I do not like so much, and that's how pineapple makes your mouth feel after eating it. And you might be thinking, well, there couldn't possibly be anything in pineapple that would make my mouth sore. But there is one component of pineapple that is actually responsible for aggravating our mouth. Within the humble looking pineapple lurks the culprit for all that sort of burning or itchiness you experience in your mouth after eating this fresh fruit. So inside pineapple is this enzyme called bromelain. Now bromelain is naturally present in the um, stem of the pineapple as well as the yellow flesh or that juicy yellow part that we eat. If you remember enzymes from any science class you might have taken, they are basically these specialized molecules that speed up a reaction. So enzymes are sort of like tiny catalysts that make a reaction happen much quicker. Now, bromelain is a specific type of enzyme called a proteinase or protease. And these types of enzymes are known for cutting apart proteins into smaller pieces. So what bromelain is specifically looking for in proteins is this amino acid called cysteine. Now, if you're not sure what an amino acid is, amino acids make up proteins. So like a long train might be made of many different railroad cars all lined up. A long protein is made up of many different amino acids all in a line. But the only amino acid bromelain cares about is cysteine. And so when bromelain is sort of scanning the protein, it's looking, and if it finds a cysteine clip, it cleaves, it sort of cuts the protein into two separate pieces wherever that cysteine was. And then if it keeps scanning and it might find another cysteine, again, there it cuts the protein into more pieces. So bromelain is kind of like this microscopic scissors that is sort of cutting up proteins into smaller pieces. Here's the bad news, your tongue, your palate, your inner cheeks, they're all partially made up of protein, which means when you eat that fresh pineapple and get that bromelain in your mouth, bromelain almost starts like digesting your mouth. It's cleaving off those proteins that are meant to protect us and make up our tongue or our cheeks or our palate. And bromelain also has another type of action, it's sort of cleaves apart this mu mucus layer that we have to protect certain parts of our mouth and it can cleave the proteins in this mucus layer which makes us a lot more susceptible to all of the acid in the pineapple so pineapple is a very acidic fruit and it's this combination of bromelain sort of cleaving some of the proteins in our mouth making us more susceptible to the high amount of acid which then adds extra irritation and sort of explains all that burning or stinging sensations in your mouth. Now, if you're about to give up fresh pineapple entirely, take a second and relax because any damage bromelain does to our mouth, our body almost instantly is repairing it. So our body is always making new cells to replace old and damaged cells. So as soon as we sort of eat pineapple like with that bromelain in it, our body is almost instantaneously working to inactivate bromelain and fix any damage. Now, if you're still a little worried about it, I have a couple solutions of how you can treat pineapple, just simple ways in your home you can treat pineapple to inactivate bromelain it's yourself. Have you ever noticed that it's only fresh pineapple that aggravates your mouth so much. If you go to the grocery store and get something like crushed pineapple, pineapple pieces, or pineapple juice, these don't make your mouth sore at all, which gives us a little bit of a hint on how we can inactivate bromelain. Now, most canned goods in the store do go through a heat treatment. That's pretty normal. And that's for several reasons. So it extends the shelf life of the food, meaning the food will stay good for longer. It kills off some of the bacteria, yeast, and molds and makes sure that the food is safe to eat. But for pineapple, this heat treatment has another really important reason. And that's because bromelain can't stand up to a lot of heat. So by applying the heat to pineapples, we can actually inactivate bromelain. 
So another word for inactivating that you might hear is we would denature bromelain. And denaturing is basically a scientific way of saying bromelain when heat, it's exposed to heat, it sort of unravels and loses its structure, which means it can no longer serve its function. So it loses its function once it loses its structure, which means it can no longer sort of cleave those proteins, right? Which protects us from the action of bromelain in our mouth. If you have fresh pineapple at home and you, you can heat treat it yourself to inactivate bromelain, so you could grill it. Grilled pineapple is delicious. I highly recommend that. Maybe you could bake it, right? So upside down pineapple cake, since it's baked, it shouldn't aggravate your mouth either. So just try to add some type of heat, whether it's baking or grilling to the pineapple and that should take care of bromelain. Although bromelain can really do a number on your mouth, it's actually a pretty useful enzyme and you've probably used it in the past without ever realizing. So if you've ever used fresh pineapples or maybe fresh pineapple juice to tenderize meat, what you're doing is using bromelain so it can cut up the muscle proteins and collagen in the meat, which makes it taste more tender. So typically recipes that sort of um, marinate meat in fresh pineapple or fresh pineapple juice, they have you do something like get a plastic bag, put your meat in there, and then for about an hour or so, what you want to do is just um, sort of have it with that fresh pineapple or fresh pineapple juice because what's going to happen is that bromelain in the fresh pineapple is going to start breaking up those muscle proteins and tenderizing the meat. And you only want to let uh, the pineapple in contact with the meat for an hour or two because it can actually do, it can hydrolyze so much of that muscle protein, it can turn your meat into mush. And if you've ever seen meat tenderizer, it's sort of this little powder by the spices in the spice aisle. If you've seen McCormick makes a meat tenderizer, what is in that little canister is actually powdered bromelain. So you can buy that meat tenderizer or just use fresh pineapple, which has bromelain in it too. It turns out the same enzyme we use to tenderize meat sort of tenderizes our mouth when we eat pineapple, which I know is a little bit of a gross way of thinking about bromelain, but it's kind of true. So if you're sick of how fresh pineapple makes your mouth sore after eating it, remember to just heat the pineapple, grill it or bake it at some type of heat and that will inactivate bromelain and you'll have no more worries about a sore mouth. Now, if you've made it this far in my video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you next time.